Hi, Scorpio. Hello, hello. Peace, love, and light to you guys. This is Tasha with Intuitive Scorpio Tarot. I am back to bring you guys another general reading. Peace, love, and light to each and every one of you. So, guys, we're going to focus on love. We're going to see what's coming out for you when it comes to love. Okay? This can be from a current person, past person, or new person coming towards you. Okay? So, of course, take what resonates, leave what doesn't when it comes to the readings. If you are new to my channel, welcome. Thank you so much for stopping by. Go ahead and hit that subscription button. I would love to have you as a part of my Scorpio Stinger family. So I feel like today I'm going to bring you guys back-to-back -back messages. Yeah, so I think I'm going to just work with you guys today. Um, don't forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe if you haven't already. Um, keep in mind, this will be general. So if you would like a personal reading tailored to your own unique situation, I suggest that you book a personal reading with me. And how to contact me is my email down in my description, along with my... Um, website okay all right so let's see holy spirit show me what i need to see for scorpio please protect my energy as i channel the message for love let no weapon form against me shall prosper any demonic forces evil eye witchcraft that's coming towards my channel my home my family I ask that you remove the energy return it back to sender ten thousand fold in jesus name and it is so amen and amen all right, Scorpios, let's get into this. So the first part that flipped out is what do you see in me? So again, this can be past, present, or someone future. So someone is wanting to know what is it that you see in them? Hmm. I'm getting someone may have self-esteem issues. Hmm. Tell me more. Thank you. This love is crazy. Okay, so like I said, this could be past, present, or future. So the relationship that you have with someone, someone feels like the love is crazy. They're trying to understand what do you see in them. They're actually describing that the love that you guys have between each other is really crazy. This feels like someone here who never experienced your type of love before. And of course, as Scorpios, you know, the type of love we give is unforgettable. <laughs> Tell me more. Tell me more. What is it that Scorpio needs to know when it comes to love? Now, Scorpio, you can also be asking someone else what do they, what do they see in you, but I don't feel like you guys are asking that. That can be for a small percentage of you guys. Oh, okay. <laughs> I'm going to take the one that's flipped over. All right, so we have, you've triggered me. Mm. Scorpio, you trigger someone with the love you've given is crazy. You trigger someone. You could have triggered someone's awakening. Maybe what you're giving to them, they never had that before. Hmm. But let's see. At the bottom of the deck, wow, we have drama and then the heat between us is intense. Yes, yeah, Scorpio, you're giving that, that good loving away. Someone can't handle it here. I need to figure myself out. Yeah, I kind of figure like someone has self-esteem issues. Hmm, something about drama. But let's clarify this to see what this is about okay let's see which deck do i want to use hmm i think i am going to use this deck here one of my newest decks all right so let's see what this is about tell me about what do you see in me what is it that scorpio needs to know holy spirit clarify what do you see in me what is this energy? Show me what I need to see for Scorpio. All right, one more shuffle. All right. Clarify, what do you see in me? What is this about for Scorpio? Thank you. All right, so we have the Queen of Cups here. So this can be a fellow water sign. Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. Hmm. I feel like someone is asking, what is it that you see in them? Because you're so beautiful, you're humble, you're intelligent, a sweetheart energy. You have so much love to give. You're a divine feminine. Hmm. Wow. Tell me more. What do you see in me? Yeah, it's kind of like you exude this beauty, this humble energy. You know, you have like this motherly energy to you, Scorpio. Tell me more. Thank you. Wow. We have the tempers here. Oh, you're an earth angel. That's what that is. You are an earth angel. 
you bring such this healing energy that someone never experienced before and they're trying to figure out what is it that you see in them mm. wow and we have the moon here someone has huh it seems as though with the wheel of fortune and the moon I feel like you were someone's good luck charm. You know, you came into someone's life possibly unexpectedly. Possibly you guys were fated. This was destined for you to come into this person's life. This could have came out of nowhere or either the spirit sent you to this person out of nowhere. I don't think they saw, saw this coming. This person could have prayed for someone like you during the time that they were in isolation. You may remind, remind remind this person of like a mother figure. I'm getting motherly energy with the Queen of Cups and the Empress. You may remind someone of their mother. Yeah, you remind them of a childhood energy. Yeah. Mm. Wow. You bring so much peace, so much balance. You like glide across the waters. Like your energy is so purifying, such divinely given. Mm. Wow. You are an earth angel here. Wow, tell me more. This love is crazy. What is it that this person is wanting Scorpio to know? What's going on here, spirit? Tell me more. This is love is crazy. Yeah, I feel like someone never had someone like you. You're so patient. You're so kind. You're humble. You represent the divine. You have gained your wings. Yeah. I feel like all of this was going to happen in divine timing. Your energy ap approaching someone else that possibly never experienced an energy like yours before. You're so loving and motherly energy. Mm. You possibly give this person love. Like I said earlier, you give them some, some type of love energy that they never had before. That's why they're saying this love is crazy. Tell me more. This love is crazy. Clarify this. Whether you're male or female, you're coming out as this queen of cups energy. Wow, look at there, Page of Swords. Hmm, Aquarius, Libra, Gemini. You could have met this person online. Hmm. Or someone is curious about you. It's like they're curious as to... <laughs> I just literally heard, where did you come from? <laughs> someone is like, where did, where did Scorpio come from? I never experienced someone like this. I'm curious. Hmm, this love is crazy. Tell me more. Mm-hmm. I told you. This person's like, where do you come from? You're such an angelic energy. You're you're everything this person wished for and more. You, I'm telling you, your energy is like the star. You you shine bright. You're, I'm getting your sex could be <laughs> your sex could be healing. You just bring this. Oh my gosh, Scorpio. You just bring this healing energy, this nurturing energy. You're like an angel to someone. They're curious about you because you have such positive energy. What they don't understand is that you are a divine feminine, divine masculine. This person could have prayed for someone like you and they found you online. Their dreams came true. Yeah. Again, we got the moon card. This person didn't see this coming, this type of love from you. It was being hidden from them. Yeah. Wow. This could be a Pisces. You may have Aquarius in your chart, Sagittarius. <laughs> Shadow is confirming. <laughs> yeah, look at there. Two of Wands on the back of the deck. This person who has been searching for you. Someone searched for you. They didn't think they was going to meet someone like you, Scorpio. Hold on, y'all. They didn't think that they were going to meet someone like you. That's what that was. You came from nowhere. You were sent from the heavens, honey. <laughs> you were sent from the heavens. Hold on, y'all. Your energy is so purifying. So that makes sense why this person is saying you've triggered them. Because they never had someone like you before. They did not see this coming. This was hidden from... I feel like your energy was hidden from this person. They've been searching all over the world. They've been trying to leave their past in the past. And they've been waiting for someone like you. And they got it. They didn't see this coming. Mm. Yep. This person was used to toxicity. Toxicity. Oh, I cannot never say that word right. Toxic people. But good luck came to this person. Yeah. Because they waited patiently. Mm-hmm. Wow. Tell me about you. Trigger me. Show me what I need to see. And of course, take what resonates, leave what doesn't. 
Your energy is healing. You have this healing, purifying energy. You are earth angel, divine feminine, divine masculine. There, it's like this person can't believe, like, wow, this love is crazy. Where did he or she come from? <laughs> Tell me about you've triggered me. Oh, mm -mm, spirit. Clarify you've triggered me. Okay. And I saw this at the bottom of the deck, magician. This person could be a Gemini. Wow. So what I'm getting here is that you triggered this person because you're so magical. I just heard magical. You're powerful. Mm. You're a powerful magician. You have so much healing and power within your energy without even doing too much. Mm. You could have triggered this person's, you know, childhood wounds or abandonment issues. You could have triggered anything because you're in this magician energy. Wow. Tell me more. Yeah, I'm getting, I heard you're so magical. You're unbelievable. You have this glow to you. I'm getting, you're like a healer. Wow. Mm-hmm. I told you, you were sent from the most high. I also feel as though this person manifested a woman or a man like you. They reached out for help. This could be another Scorpio. Someone pray for someone like you. I'm telling you, I just, I'm telling you, before I even pull that card out, I heard you trigger this person's possibly demons. You are forcing this person to heal themselves, to give their life to God, to renew their energy, to surrender. Yeah. Yeah. It's time for them to go through judgment. You were sent to heal this person. Wow. Yep. Two of cups, soulmate. You forced this person, I'm telling you, this person was used to toxic people or they were toxic. And I feel like you're triggering them by showing them that, hey, you can't be better than that. You don't have to settle for those type of people. Give your life to the most high. Renew your energy. Call on spirit. Surrender your life. You're powerful just like me. You trigger this person's demons, their inner healing. You triggered something because you are of the divine masculine divine feminine energy you came from the spiritual realm you are a special person you trigger them to get into this soulmate union to understand who they were as well mm -hmm. this person came to you yeah with the knight of swords being here See, this person was coming to you as a knight see you already are coming out as a queen the star the magician in temperance energy, you were like an angel to this person. This was good news for them. I feel like this soulmate connection made them chase after you. Because like I said, they never encountered your type of energy before. I'm getting this made this person chase you and reach out to you. Yeah. You were a blessing into their life. They were forced to speak their truth. Use head above heart. Because see, I feel like this person is used to juggling. They're used to dealing with third parties. Yeah, but see now with you coming with this beautiful energy, they get to have a new passionate beginning with you. Yep, Spirit said that's the truth. Ace of Swords. Yeah. They now receive clear. Look at all these aces. Ace of Wands, Ace of Swords, Ace of Cups. Yeah. You were their true love. You were the person that God sent to them. They're going to have a new beginning in love with you. They receive some type of clarity to chase you, to go after you. To have this new passionate beginning, God and the universe is granting them. You trigger this person to face who they were so they can have this spiritual union with you. To have this passionate new beginning. Yeah. They're being forced to possibly work on themselves. The moon, again, someone here possibly has fears. Work on their shadow self. Work on their feels, their secrets, their hidden feelings. Yeah. Yep, someone could be battling within themselves to release and let people, place, and things go. This person possibly was stuck. Possibly stuck in the matrix. Yeah. Mm. This person was battling with demons, I'm getting. And this caused them to be blocked. Their energy to be blocked. Mm -hmm. Nine of Pentacles. See, the goal was they wanted to be single, independent, wise, mature, be able to have their own fruitful, but they were too stuck in their head. Yeah. Yeah. Wow. Wow, wow, wow. 
for a long time, I feel like this person was blocked from things coming towards them. Yeah. Mm, mm, mm. So let's get some final messages on this, Scorpio. Hold on. All right. Tell me more spirit, final messages. Clarify. What do you see in me? What's the final message for this? What do you see in me? And of course, take what resonates, leave what doesn't. Clarify, what do you see in me? What's the final message here? And like I said, Scorpio, I'm going to be back to back today doing messages for you guys, okay? Oh no, that's too many. What do you see in me? Yeah, you triggered someone's inner demons. You, Without you even saying much or doing much, this person was forced to fix themselves, heal themselves. We have the number 49, achievement. Effort puts intention. Yeah. Effort puts intention. Someone here could be 49 or born on the 13th. But I'm getting just your energy. You showed how powerful you were, how resilient, how patient, how you came with so much peace. I feel like as long as this person put in the effort, Plus the intention, they can achieve anything that they want. And I feel like you are displaying this to this person. The number 13 can be significant. Yeah. This person needs to understand that they can achieve anything that they want as long as they put the intention in behind what they're doing. See, I also feel like your energy, when you came into this person's life, you had intention. All you ask is for this person to give the effort so things can come together like they should be. Final message for this love is crazy. I'm telling you, I heard someone have healing sex here. Mm. Thank you. We have the number 34, loss, lack, fear, victimization. Victimization, yeah. Like I told you guys earlier, I feel like this person was so used to toxic people. They took losses after losses. You know, they were lacking growth, lacking stability, lacking things coming into their life. This was all out of fear. And I feel like your energy is so powerful and so exhilarating and so healing and purposeful. This person had a little fear. That's why they're saying this love is crazy. They never experienced you before. Someone here could have been the victim of their own circumstances. It's like they try to look into everything. You know, they don't just go with the flow. That's why they keep facing loss and lack energy. All out of fear. Tell me more. Someone here could be 34, possibly born on the 13th, the 7th. What's the final message? You've triggered me. You trigger this person to heal, to surrender. Stop repeating karmic lessons over and over again. Your energy was too different. Hmm. You trigger me. It's almost, I just heard, you force this person to step into their power. Yeah. You force this person to step into their power. You see all the cars want to fly everywhere, y'all? <laughs> all right. What's the final message? You trigger me? Yeah, I guess you did trigger this person. You see how them cars flew? This person wasn't ready for that. Mm. You poured into this person something they never experienced before. Yeah. You trigger me. Spirit, that is too many cars. You trigger me. How them cars flew, child. You sure did trigger this person. <laughs> What's the final message to close out the reading? Thank you. Clairvoyance, inspiration, interpretation, trust. A lot of you guys can be tarot readers just like myself. Or you may be clairvoyant where you are very, very much tapped in. Yeah, like I told you, you're the magician. You're powerful. You're such an inspiration to this person. You trigger their demons, their hurt, their abuse, their pain. I feel like you guys, I just heard, trust the process. The number 35, someone here could be 35 years old, 49, 34, or someone could have been born on the 8th. You taught this person how to trust into the divine. Surrender, give their life. Surrender the bad, you know, 
things in her life, the bad choices, you know, stop repeating karmic cycles over again, you know, learn the lessons, surrender, give your life to the most high. You trigger something in this person no one else has ever did. You possibly was able to manifest something or this person seeing how powerful you are. You are the magician. Mm. Wow. Yeah, look at there. Number 40 at the bottom, balance, stability, standing firm. You came into this person's life, possibly when they didn't have balance, you brought balance into their life. You stood on what you said and said what you mean. You gave them that balance like the temperance card. You balanced out their energy. You just brought peace, something they never had. You just have this healing glow that this person never experienced. And clairvoyance is just like a tarot reader, but this is a person who is someone who can talk to spirit, hear spirits, you know, someone who can speak to the ancestors, you know, and really get a message back. This is someone who probably can hear dead people, that type of energy, okay? You possibly read this person and that could be why, you know, if you're a tarot reader like me, maybe you could have told this person something about themselves that forced them to surrender their life to the most high. Wow. Mm. All right, Scorpio, this is what I have for you. Thank you so much for joining me in this reading. I appreciate you guys so much. Don't forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe. And I will see you guys on the next video. Bye-bye.